what's going on ladies and gentlemen beastly gamer here welcome to the channel here we are just mere hours away from e3 2017 it's really really exciting there's a lot of stuff going on with me where i really can't focus on it uh, i've been in and out of the hospital with my wife her kidney stones are just really really bad she has two dime sized kidney stones in her left kidney she has to have a stent put in her kidney and then she's going to go in for blast therapy later on in the week so she's been in a lot of pain uh, it's been really, really rough dealing with it and, and having to, you know, it's hard to look at somebody you love so much who can't, you know, sleep. They stand up, their pain, their back hurts. They can't pick up a baby. They can't lift little things around the house because their back is just killing them so bad. And it's just really hard for me to focus on video games. I stole like a few minutes to come in here and talk to you guys about this stuff because I got to go back and watch my baby because my wife can't really watch her right now. But E3 is right around the corner and, and there's some definitely going to be some exciting things revealed at E3 this year. I'm super stoked to see exactly what comes out of the Xbox Scorpio reveal. I want to know what it's, what it's named. I want to know the true specs of it. I want to know everything that they're going to include in this box and what we can expect for Xbox games in the future that utilize this new hardware. I want to know what the Scorpio means for the PS4 Pro because now that the Scorpio is going to be revealed and released, more developers are going to start making games with the idea of native 4K in mind, which would in fact affect the PS4 Pro because lots and lots of games are not shooting for that higher resolution right now on consoles because the Pro is the only console that's able to do it. So it's actually going to improve gaming across the board for PS4 users and the Xbox Scorpio brand. But I'm hearing a rumor of something that's pretty exciting to me and my mind just can't get around the fact of what it could possibly be. Square Enix, one of my favorite developers out there, of course uh, I'm the biggest fan of their Final Fantasy games, uh, is rumored to be releasing something exclusive for the Xbox branded E3 this year. And if this happens, it could possibly win all of E3 for Xbox the same way they won for PlayStation with the reveal of Final Fantasy VII the Remake. I'll drop a link in the description. E3 2017, Xbox One exclusive by Square Enix may be announced at E3. According to a recent Amazon Italy listing, a new exclusive Xbox One and PC game from Square Enix is set to be revealed soon, likely at E3 2017. The listing does state that three unannounced games are in the works, with the aforementioned title being one of them. Sadly, there is not a great deal of information to go with, but with E3 just days away, I'm sure we can wait just a little bit longer. Microsoft has been very silent in regards to what their presentation will revolve around, outside of the full reveal of the Scorpio, that is. In any case, and whatever the game may be, let's hope it's better catered for than Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh God, yes, please do a better job than you did with Rise of the Tomb Raider and don't release whatever this new game is on the same date of a behemoth game. That would be insane. Now, what if Square Enix is planning on a, another Final Fantasy remake for the Xbox? Would that be outside of the scope? You know, S Square is a great developer. They've been doing extremely well with Deus Ex, uh, they did really well with Hitman. They did very, very well with the Tomb Raider uh, reboot and Rise of the Tomb Raider. But in my mind, I think that fans know Square Enix for the games that they released in the past. Perfect example will be Final Fantasy VII The Remake. Everybody's super excited about that. We all played that game. We know how great the story is. We know what to expect, but our minds can't prepare us for the glory that's going to happen when we finally play that game. What if Square Enix was planning to release another Final Fantasy game, a remake for the Xbox Scorpio or the Xbox One. That would be insane. It would be totally insane. I'm a huge fan of the later Final Fantasy games. Sadly, I never played any of the games before 7. At that time, I didn't even know what an RPG was, to be totally honest. I was playing Turtles in Time and, and Super Castlevania 4 and Blackthorn and all these other types of games. I just wasn't into RPGs at the time. But I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy XII. Uh, these games are huge to me. And of course, Final Fantasy XII is already being remade right now for the PS4. Uh, so that more than likely, that's not the game. But if they were to re-release one of the early Final Fantasy games, even going back to Final Fantasy VI, which I hear is possibly the best Final Fantasy of all time, if they were to go back in and re-release some of these older Final Fantasy games, do you think it would be a huge hit? for E3 with Microsoft. If they were to do an exclusive for PC and Xbox One of maybe Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy VIII that circled around a protagonist named Squall and uh, Renoa. And the, the game was just really awesome. A lot of people didn't like it because it had a very strong 
romantic curve to the game, but it was still great. Final Fantasy IX was also incredible with Zidane in that kind of fantastical fantasy world. If they were to re-release one of these games, I think it would be incredible. And uh, it could possibly win E3 if they were to actually do something like that. A complete remake, the same way they're doing with Final Fantasy VII. Of course, other than the games we know about, we don't know about them. So I can't really speculate on what the future holds for Square and Microsoft's E3 press conference. But if they were to re-release an old Square Enix game, which one would you guys like to see and why? Let me know in the comments below what old Square Enix game would destroy Sony's E3 press conference if they released it exclusively for the Xbox Scorpio. Let me know below. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to take your support even further, please consider becoming a patron. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.